powerful, impactful, life-changing. This is the teaching ministry of Apostle Faith Manobuera, where supernatural things are happening through the anointed Word of God. This prolific preacher and dynamic teacher of God's Word is changing lives all over the world. Are you ready? Because your life will never be the same. Your success is directly related to your submission to God's Word. We are not here to do what we think or feel. We are here to do what God's word has approved. If you're going to succeed in life, God must come first in everything you do. And faith in God does not fail because its origin is God. Here is Apostle Faith Man Obweda. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We we'll rejoice and be glad. You're welcome to the 13th of All Nations Crusade. And we've been sharing principles, scriptures that are ministering lives to us. And Jesus wants you to be made whole. The will of God for you is for you to be healed. For you to live a life of liberty, a life of freedom, a life of power. God doesn't want you to be oppressed. God doesn't want you to be oppressed by any spirit. He expects you to reign in life. He expects you to live in dominion. God is not expecting you to be oppressed by any spirit, any day, anywhere, anytime. So what he did was to give us Jesus. The name of Jesus is a powerful name. Having the revelation of the name of Jesus can also determine the use of of your spiritual authority. I said having the revelation of the name of Jesus can determine the use of your spiritual authority. We can truly maximize our spiritual authority when we're ignorant of the revelation in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Now, I'd like us to go to Philippians chapter 2. So Philippians chapter 2. And we can read from... Uh, we can read from Vex... From Vex... 6. Who being in the form of God? Philippians 2, Vex 6. Who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man, and being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross." Wherefore God also have highly exalted him. This is so powerful. God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. This is powerful. The name of Jesus is above every name. The name of Jesus is above every name. It doesn't matter if anything have a name, the name of Jesus is above it. If the disease has a name, the name of Jesus is above it. If the economy has a name, if they call it that this economy is in recession, the name of Jesus is above recession. So he has given him a name which is above every name. The name Jesus is above cancer, is above Ebola, is above HIV. He has given him a name. 
So, when you have the revelation of the name of Jesus, you cannot be subdued by any situation because that name carries the power of God. When That is why Jesus said, in my name, you will cast out devils. You know, people magnify devils. They say the devils are powerful. But they are not as powerful as that name, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, a cax can be broken. A yoke can be broken. A situation that is in opposition to your dream can be stopped in the name of Jesus because there is a healing. There is a life. There is a miracle in the name of Jesus. If you truly want to see victory, if you truly want to see success, in the name of Jesus, you can have it. There is power in the name of Jesus. God exalted the name of Jesus above every other name. God exalted the name of Jesus above every other name in heaven, in earth, and beneath. Let's look at verse 10 in uh, Philippians 2 verse 10. He said, that at the name of Jesus, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. This is powerful. Every knee should bow of the things in heaven and things in earth and things under at the name of Jesus, God invested so much power in that name that whenever that name is mentioned by faith, the kingdom of darkness trembles. The name of Jesus is the weapon of the believer. The name of Jesus is the weapon of the believer. The name of Jesus is the weapon of the believer. If, if you truly want to see the power of God, if you truly want to see the release of the Spirit, then you need to have the revelation of the name of Jesus. Let's look at the guys who apply the name and what happened when they use the name. In Acts chapter 3, Acts chapter 3, Look at Acts chapter 3. Glory be to God. In Acts chapter 3, look at this. Mm, praise the Lord. In Acts chapter 3, I like us to read from verse 1. It said, Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer. Being the ninth hour, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful. To ask of arm, to ask arm of them which had entered into the temple, who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, ask arm, and fasting, and Peter fastened his eyes of his eyes upon him with John, and said, Look on us, verse 5 said, and he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold, none I have. But such as I have, I give thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he said, rise up and walk. When that name was released by faith, the healing presence of God came upon the man. Because the name of Jesus carries the healing presence of God. I said the name of Jesus carries the healing presence of God, which has the potential to change any situation. The name of Jesus carries the healing presence of God, which has the potential to change any situation. The name of Jesus carries the healing presence of God. So when Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk, there was a manifestation of the power of God. So whenever the name of Jesus is used by faith, 
expect miracles. There is no disease that can resist the name of Jesus. There is no disease, there is no evil report that can resist the name of Jesus. We need to walk in the consciousness of the revelation of the name of Jesus. We need to walk in the consciousness of the revelation of the name of Jesus and the mention of that name. Expect healing. Expect the miraculous. The name of Jesus is a divine seal. This is why we said, in Jesus' name. If you prayed and you have not said in Jesus' name, that prayer is not concluded. We conclude the prayer by saying, in Jesus' name, be healed. In the name of Jesus, be transformed. That is the weapon you have as a believer. The name of Jesus has authority in the true world. The name of Jesus has authority in the true world. Now, glory be to God. We're reading uh, Philippians 2, verse 10. Let's go to Philippians 2, verse 10. Let's do Philippians 2, verse 10. And we'll get some things there. In Philippians 2, verse 10, it said, That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Did you hear that? At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. This is why you are so powerful. Because you can use the name against any situation, against any storm of life. He said that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of the things in heaven. So the things in heaven listens to the name of Jesus. The things in heaven submits to the name of Jesus. The things in heaven and the things in earth, things, things must hear. Things in heaven. There are things in heaven, things in the earth, and things under the earth. Hears that name. So this is where this name exercises authority. Things in heaven, in heaven, in earth, and beneath the earth. And beneath the earth, there is power in the name of Jesus. If you truly want to see the glory of God, if you truly want to see the manifestation of the things of the Spirit, then you have to use the name of Jesus by faith. Because when you use that name by faith, miracles begin to happen. Healing begins to take place. Deliverance begins to happen. Signs and wonder begin to break forth because there is a miracle in that name. There is signs and wonder in the name of Jesus. This is why he said, in my name you will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Why? Because the name comes with the potential of God. All of God's potential is in the name of Jesus. All of it. That was why he said he exalts his word above his name. He exalts his word. When he talk about that, he exalts his word above his name. It means that this word, whenever we say in the name of Jesus, we are releasing the word. We are releasing the word of God. In the name of Jesus. It's not just ordinary. Words came out. That name is the word of God. That name, Jesus, is the word of God. He said, and 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 the, the word grew and dwell among us. Jesus was the word of God in manifestation. Jesus was the word of God. So the name of Jesus brings healing. The name of Jesus brings supernatural deliverance. If there is anything you're contending with. There is power in the name. That name is the word of God. That name, Jesus, is so powerful that when Peter said, in, in the name of Jesus, what was he doing? He was speaking words. He said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. The word of God was spoken. 
then the man receives his healing. So, go and use the name of Jesus concerning that situation. Go and use the name of Jesus. Begin to declare, in Jesus' name, I break this addiction over these children. In Jesus' name, I bind the spirit. I, you, you begin to exercise your authority using the name of Jesus. We can't truly exercise our authority except we use the name of Jesus because there is miracles in the name. There is healing in the name. There is deliverance in the name. There is signs and wonder in the name of Jesus. There is signs and wonders in his name. So when we say in Jesus' name, we are releasing the ability of God into the atmosphere that will cause things to change in the direction of our divine powers. So when we say, in Jesus' name, there is so much being said. There is so much being released into the atmosphere, released into our dream, and there is someone watching this broadcast right now. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance. Yokes are broken in that name. Addictions are broken in that name. Deception are broken. You know, when, when you when you understand the revelation of the name of Jesus, things begin to happen. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and they are saved. The name of the Lord. There is a powerful, there is a power in that name. So from today, never take that name for granted. Always pray in the name of Jesus with an expectation to see a tremendous change. With an expectation to see the release of signs and wonder, the release of the miraculous, the release of supernatural increase. As we pray in Jesus' name, expect healing, expect miracles, expect transformation. That name can also determine the flow of your faith, I'm telling you. Because we release our faith in the direction of that name. In the name of Jesus, you, you need to have faith in that name to be able to have a miracle manifest. You need to have faith in that name. You know, you know, so you 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 can begin to speak with the name of Jesus with an expectation to see miracle, to see healing, to see deliverance. There is a miracle in the name of Jesus. Someone is watching this broadcast today, and the Holy Ghost is saying, In his name, you will see signs and wonder. In his name. You will see miracle. You will see healing. Someone watching right now. I'm about to pray for you in the name of Jesus. And because I'm praying in the name of Jesus, someone will be healed. Someone will be delivered. Someone will be set free. The name of Jesus has highly been exalted. That at the mention of his name, every knee will, will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Right now, further in the name of Jesus, I pray for anyone that is going through any pain, any chronic disease. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command sickness and disease to go. I command addictions to be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that the favor of God will be upon your life. I decree that the anointing of the Holy Ghost will be upon your life. I decree that the doors of the blessings of the Lord will be open to you right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you have a divine encounter right now in the name of Jesus. Receive the boldness to do the will of God. Receive the boldness to break through. Receive the boldness to succeed. I command every opposition against you to stop in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, whatever you have been struggling with, may God break you out of it right now. In Jesus' name, receive supernatural transformation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, we thank you. Someone just got healed right now by the power of God. I could feel it. In Jesus' name, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, miracles happen to those who trust God, to those who step out by faith. Receive in the name of Jesus. I command the contention to cease. I command the opposition to stop. I command the deception to cease. 
in the name of Jesus. I pray for supernatural miracle, for supernatural open doors for you, that you will continue to prosper. You will continue to increase. You will continue to see the manifestation of divine favor in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. May your people begin to experience the power in the name of Jesus. Be healed in your mind. Be healed in your soul. Be healed in your spirit. In the name of Jesus, I command every pain that you have ever experienced in this season, I command it to stop right now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your finances and I command the money to increase. I command finances to come to you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone watching this broadcast right now that the power of God will come upon you for supernatural release. In the name of Jesus, may God's favor explode in your life. May God's favor explode in your dream, explode in your vision, explode in your destiny. In the name of Jesus, someone just receive the, the healing presence of God right now. Receive right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lamb of God. Thank you, El Shaddai. Yes, the presence of God is all over this place. And someone watching me, you will never remain the same right now. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Receive an explosive increase. Receive in the name of Jesus. Let the unction of the Spirit rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, I declare you healed and set free. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory be to God. If you are watching this broadcast today, we just thought about the name of Jesus. How powerful that name is. And you use the name of Jesus by faith. By faith, you use the name to speak to. If you can say to this mountain, in the name of Jesus, he said, this mountain be moved. In the name of Jesus, you speak to the situation. You're going to have supernatural results. And things are going to work out for your good. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Right now, if you're watching this broadcast and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, can you say this after me? Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father for saving in Jesus name amen if you pray this prayer with me it means you're born again and you will never remain the same and the Holy Spirit is going to lead you to a place where you can receive more of God's word may the blessings of the Lord explode in your life in Jesus name amen and right now we encourage you to subscribe to faith man teaching on YouTube when you go to YouTube you have we have more than 650 videos and we'll keep adding videos every day so go to YouTube and subscribe to faith man teaching and you will never remain the same this teaching ministry is a gift from God to you to be a blessing to you as you can consistently flow in the things of the spirit and have revelations that can change situations so you can sub subscribe to faith man teaching on youtube hallelujah now tomorrow we're starting international uh, partners prayer conference tomorrow we'll be praying for our partners for eight days i got a word from the lord to pray for the partners for eight days so tomorrow we're starting it we'll, we'll be praying for our partners for their children for their finances for their job for whatever they are believing god for so international partners meeting begins tomorrow so avail yourself to attend it's going to be live here on the scope so all our partners will be praying for you will be praying for you you know we're praying for you and praying for your family that the, the will of god will break out so tomorrow we're starting the conference so we also encourage people to partner with international partners prayer conference thank you uh victoria for putting that on the screen uh thank you we encourage people to partner with the international partners prayer conference tomorrow we you can go to paypal and give whatever the lord will, will lead in your heart to support this conference tomorrow so whatever you want to sow will be a blessing to this conference so you can go to paypal is faithmanteaching at gmail.com faithmanteaching at gmail.com for this partnership conference so whatever you give will help us in 
facilitating the conference tomorrow. So we're starting tomorrow. We pray that the blessings of the Lord will be upon you as you support this partner's conference. We'll be praying for your needs tomorrow. We're we'll praying that God will show up in different areas of your life in this meeting and God bless you. So we encourage you to share the videos with people to, to stay connected to what is going on right now, to share the videos with people. So, and let's reach more people with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon. The best thing you could do with your life right now is to use it for the preaching of the gospel. May God bless you until I come your way soon. <laughs> because soon I'm coming. You will never remain the same. Don't ever forget this. There is greatness in you.